All right, guys, real quickly. Uh, what is that? That is the throttle dampener. Okay, throttle dampener. Uh, that's the primary dampener. And then uh, there's some of them that have got this thing too. That's the secondary throttle dampener. That's the fastest version. Now, hold on, we're just gonna do the long version for those guys that want a bit more information. You know, when you've got someone, that mate of yours, and, and he keeps going on and on and on about the same thing, like putting a bump stick in it, putting a bump stick in it, putting a bump stick into it. Do you remember that? Yeah. Guess what? What? You need a, you need a 3UZ. I need a 3UZ. Yeah. Correct, you need a 3UZ. I need one, right? Yep, you need one. I'm going to convert Jason over to the V8 way. It's just going to take a little while, but we're going to convert him over to V8s. Right, today we are going to talk about the useless crap that I know. One of those, what the fuck is that on your 1UZ? And I'm still surprised actually that people don't know this because it's just, to me, this is the useless knowledge that's in my head. And in saying that, I made a discovery myself. Maybe we could call it uh, the One UZ Geek series or something because it's it's kind of just interesting stuff that we we come along that we kind of take for granted a little bit around here. Uh, what? I think only you would find it interesting. There will be other people that find this interesting as well. Funnily enough. I, I'm not one of them. No, not you. No. <laughs> We're going to talk about. The dash pot, this one, or the throttle dampener, okay? This is a pot of fruit salad, this is a dash pot. These are not the same. And just for fun, look, we've got this kind. You've got that one. Uh, we've got this kind. We've got, we got this kind. And then we've got this kind. So what do these do? We'll talk about the primary one first. So what it does is, is when you open the throttle, it really help. I need two hands. Ah, good. Go. So when we, oh, we got, uh, uh, there it is. So when we open the throttle like this, It's pretty hard to see. There we go. Look, see, it pulls out a little bit and just throw, slows down the throttle closing. And that's because the idle speed control unit is really primitive on the one you said. And so they use the dampener just to reduce the chances of stalling. Okay, and then on some UCF20, this is a UCF20. It's a UCF20 throttle body. See, it's got the small, small pipe there. Small pipe, UCF20. These ones got a secondary dampener. So it's got the primary dampener underneath. There it is. And then it's got a vacuum one with a vacuum hose going to it for the secondary dampener. There's going to be some traffic. It's making lots of noise, eh? See, this is also a, a dampener. And if you think about what this does, controls the movement of the spring. You might call it a shock absorber. They've got shock absorber written on them, shock absorber. But it's actually a dampener. It controls the oscillations of the spring. Uh, just a hint, this TPS is not in good order. 
So this is UCF20. As I said, that one has got a dampener on it. And this one's got two dampeners bolted on the same spot, funnily enough. And with the vacuum hose. This one doesn't even have the drilling for the other vacuum hose. UCF 10s. Uh, what have I got here? This is Old Yellow's one. Okay, this is good. So you can see Old Yellow's got two bolts in here like this. And it's actually got a third one out here. That, that's important. You can see this one's got one, two holes, but nothing out here. This one's got a, a different style of dampener, one hole, and you see it's got an extra bolt hole out here. No, that one's only got the two. But what you've got on these dampeners is you've got this style here, and you've got this style here. And what we've got is the throttle body, they're different. And this is my discovery. I didn't didn't know that. So some of them have got, and I think it's an, an A and a B type. I'm going to try and find out which way, what they actually designated. But some have got the dampener that bolts on these two holes. And that hole's spare. Some have got dampeners that have got bolt on these two holes. And that one's spare. And some of them have got these two holes, but not that hole. And that's some of the differences in the throttle bodies of why... They have different part numbers because Toyota did the silly little thing changing the dampness. Some other things around the throttle body. This is the traction control butterfly. Uh, normally it is stuck open, but we go through and we remove them, take them off. Uh, that's a non-traction control. Here's a, here's a traction control one. It's had the traction control motor removed and we've cut the front off it. In the traction control motors, we've got that style, and we've got that style, so there's differences there. That's still fruit salad. Uh, and I'm going to very quickly set the TGS to. Uh, I was setting up a throttle body for a guy, and um, this is the TPS I took off his one. You can see it's all just floppy, it doesn't spring back. That is broken. That's broken. Uh, see, that one is, is physically broken. Now, which throttle body am I setting? It's like I've been playing Jenga with throttle bodies. This one. No, actually, I'm going to come back to another video and I'm going to set that TPS. So keep an eye out for that video. Hope that's been helpful on the way my mind works, the dumb crap I, I find interesting, that they have different throttle bodies and we can see why. They've got different dampener mounting positions on them. And then of course we've got traction control, non-traction control. And watch out for the American ones, that the or the, the left-hand drive ones, where the throttle linkages go the other way because the throttle cable comes from the, the wrong side of the car. Yeah, that's, that's what I just said, the wrong side of the car. So I'll talk to you again soon, and we'll keep an eye out for my TPS setting video.